This is my Williamsburg Lofts apartment video. It's been a while. If you're new here, my name is Mike. I'm a freelance art director and photographer in New York City. In the year of 2020, I made an apartment video. I've since left that apartment, traveled for a while, and I've returned to New York City and rented out this apartment. My girlfriend and I live here. It's 1,100 square feet. I'm gonna show you guys the space, tell you how much it costs, how we afford it, and some tips and tricks I learned along the way. As soon as you walk in, you're gonna see our living room and our kitchen. I wanted to create a communal space between the kitchen and the living room so they feed off of each other and when we have people over, everyone can stay connected. The living room is squared off with a couch and two chairs. Behind the couch, there's these two art pieces that anchor the space as well as a desk behind the couch so that it's sectioned off for privacy and doesn't clutter the space. There's also a lot of plants everywhere that really bring the space to life. I chose to decorate it this way because I knew I wanted to use it for photo shoots. The frame TV on the wall was a great addition because you're able to hide the black screen of TVs and put up your own artwork or other people's artwork. As soon as you enter the doorway of our apartment, you're gonna see our bedroom. The bedroom has a sliding glass door as well as two giant windows that open up into the living room space. I chose to do this because we have a skylight in the bedroom and I didn't want to block the light off by putting up walls. The skylight fills the entire space. It pours into the living room, it pours into the office space and we're able to have natural light inside of our apartment for a longer period of time. And then once it gets dark, we put on our own lights. Right next to the bedroom is my office space. As a creative person, I was always jealous of seeing videos of people who have their studio office set up, and I never really had one. Uh, this is that space now. I bought an Ikea desk. I have a monitor attached to my MacBook Pro laptop, and I'm able to do all my freelance work here seamlessly. On the opposite side of my desk is my storage. I have a couple of shelves as well as a cabinet where I put all my gear. On top of that cabinet is my prints. In the center of the house is our kitchen. The kitchen has floor to ceiling cabinets. It has a giant island that I finished by myself. It is an old woodworking table that I found at my sister's house. I just refinished it, sanded it, stained it, and then brought it in here to make the island. Our kitchen has a full-size oven, microwave, full-size uh, refrigerator and freezer as well as a dishwasher we also have a washer and dryer in our unit and our bathroom is a pretty decent size now i'm going to get into more details that i think will be important to you guys this apartment is 1100 square feet and four thousand dollars my girlfriend and i each split two thousand dollars each that is extremely expensive and it's expensive for new york in general especially for just a one bedroom when i first moved to new york i was living in an apartment with three roommates actually in Jersey City and I was spending $800 a month and that was essentially half of my month's pay. It was a great apartment and I loved it, but I never really felt like I was living in a space that was my own. I always had the idea of having the New York loft experience, being an artist and all those different types of things. And for the longest time, I thought it was unattainable. Once I moved into my previous apartment, which I made a video on, I'll link it somewhere here. I realized that by paying for a nicer space, I might be able to make money off of it. But through PeerSpace and other platforms, I've been able to rent out this apartment for photo shoots while we're gone for the day. And I'm able to remove some of the costs of the apartment to make it more affordable. I'm gonna save a breakdown of how much money I've made and how much it reduces my rent in another video. Secondly, I wanna talk about all the furnishings in this space. Everything in this apartment, besides my Ikea desk, the bar stools, and the frame TV were bought secondhand. I use platforms like Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist to be able to find furniture. And this really reduces a lot of the cost of moving. I look for furniture pieces that I know will hold their value and are in high demand. So a lot of people have nice furniture in New York City and then they move and they just need to get rid of it. I'll bid on this furniture, buy it at a discounted price, bring it to my apartment and furnish my space beautifully. If the time comes where my lease is up and I'm moving, I'm able to resell the furniture for the same price, sometimes more or just a little bit less than what I paid for. We actually had to install the walls here because this was an open concept studio and we wanted to have one bedroom. I was torn between putting the bedroom right by the door where it is or behind me and sectioning off this entire wall. If you're thinking of putting walls up in your apartment, the only downside to doing it the way we did was we weren't able to have walls go all the way to the ceiling because we have ceiling fans. If I put it behind me, we would have been able to put the wall all the way to the ceiling and have it more sectioned off. This is completely open concept. So throughout the day, if we're on Zoom calls or we're on the phone, we're able to hear each other throughout the day. So if that is hard to deal with or frustrating for you, you might wanna be able to put up a wall that is completely sealed off. 
I'm gonna leave a link in the description to some of the furniture I bought. It's an Amazon affiliate link. If you're interested in buying any of the stuff, please feel free to look at it. Lastly, I know it's been a while since I posted. I figured I might as well do another apartment video so you can see it. I've been traveling for a bit, but I'm back in New York City. I'm motivated to post more content for you guys, and I hope to be able to be more consistent on this platform for everyone. If you like what you see and you're interested in seeing more, please like, subscribe. It really helps the algorithm, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.